Hey guys, Chris with Nichols Retirement Empire. Uh, Valentine's Day. <clears throat> Valentine's Day edition. I saw a, uh, a Facebook post that one of my people, one of my friends I used to teach with made today. And they're still working and they said, they made a comment about Valentine's Day at a high school and how that everybody should have to experience Valentine's Day at a high school and the drama of Valentine's Day. And that just kind of threw me back to a time. I think I've got Valentine's Day figured out. It, it is like the, the highest level, you know, I mean, they don't have anniversaries, you know, they don't have weddings, you know, it's, it's, this is the big day for love. Valentine's Day is really what it's supposed to be at a high school. <laughs> they go crazy. Uh, and there was one high school that I worked at and I don't know if it's still, I've never seen another one like this. When they would bring, uh, deliveries to the school for Valentine's Day, uh, they would, you know, call over the intercom, you know, into your classroom and they would say, so-and-so, uh, you have a delivery, you know, you can pick it up after school. And what, what they used to do is if they would let the kids come up there and get it. So over the years that became a bigger and bigger and bigger thing. And then finally they said, you know what, we can't be calling these girls out of school and they're carrying this crap around all day. And I mean, you know, they got these big gigantic bears and balloons and boxes of candy and uh, all this crap. I mean, it was just unbelievable the amount of stuff that they would get. And and it, the school was a very poor school. The, the student body, uh, the percentage of, of students that were in poverty was very high. Um, and apparently they had saved up their money all year for this. Some girls would have five or six things delivered to them. Part of the building was really old. It's like built in the twenties. And uh, they had an auditorium in there that was a really old auditorium with a stage. Today, if you went through there, up on that stage is where they would put all the stuff that got delivered. And then you were supposed to go down there and get your stuff. Now, I don't know what kind of organization they had to this. I just know that when I walked through there, that whole stage was full of, I mean, balloons, flowers, stuffed animals, anything you could think of was just pile, you know, just, you know, it would cover almost the entire stage. It, it was insane. Couldn't even teach because every five seconds, you know, Mr. Nichols, uh, would you let Caitlin know that she has a delivery to pick up? And yes, I will. You know, apparently they were pretty successful uh, with how all this works out because it that school, uh, it and I had like six classes, and in every class, it's every class there would be at least one pregnant girl at all times. I have it was just unbelievable. The other schools, maybe I just was used to it and I didn't notice as many pregnant girls. But buddy, there were a lot of pregnant girls at that time at that school, a lot. So, I don't know if that's because of Valentine's Day, the efforts of Valentine's Day that the guys made, I don't know. Anyway, when I first became an administrator, called me, you know, down to the office or, you know, came by my office or something, I can't remember. And he said, hey, there's a bunch of balloons somebody has taken out there to the parking lot. He told me, he said, go out there and get rid of those. And I'm like, well, what am I supposed to do with them? And uh, he was like, I don't, I don't care what you do with them, but, but they can't deliver stuff here. They can't, you know, you know they can't bring stuff here, and that includes the parking lot. They can't go out there. You know, if we let them do that, they'd be coming and decorating their kid's car, every, you know, every birthday. It would just be a big, you know, we don't want people in the parking lot that don't belong there. You know, da da da. And I'm like, okay, okay. You know, so um, anyway, I go out. And all there. the balloons were hanging out of the window, and I guess the mom, or, you know, or dad wanted the girl to come out, and you know, when they went to their car, oh, mom gave me all these balloons. You know, so it was going to be kind of a surprise thing, I guess. So anyway, there were a ton. You know, I'm looking in the car. How am I supposed to get? The, you know, so I said, okay, I guess what I'm gonna have to do is cut these balloons loose because if I don't get these balloons out of this parking lot he's, he's gonna fire me you know <laughs> so I cut the balloons and I tied them up 
And I thought, where am I going to put them? If I put them in my office, you know, because like I said, I'm a new administrator. And, you know, he was one of these no-nonsense kind of people. Like, I told you to do it, do it, you know. And I thought, well, we had a guard shack where the kids would leave the camp. And we had a guy in the guard shack. So I took the balloons over there. You know, I walked across the parking lot. I took the balloons and I said, hey, can you keep these balloons in the guard shack? And I'm going to tell this girl to stop by after school and pick these up. And like I said, it was a huge thing of balloons. And he just kind of looked at me and it was a little bitty building. I mean, it was like a 10 by 10 building. It was really small. And uh, he just looked at me and he goes, I guess so. You know, you can tell he didn't want to, he didn't want to do it at all. Okay, but you know, could you please just, I hate to, you know, I'm sure they spent a lot of money on these balloons. I turned around and I had not walked 20 feet before he had opened that door and let the balloon, and I think he did it on purpose, but he let the balloons go up there and there they went, the whole thing of balloons up in the air, floating off into space. Oh crap, now I've lost this girl's balloons. Anyway, I call the girl down there and I say, hey, is it your birthday or whatever? And she's like, yeah, it is. And I'm like, well, somebody left a big thing of balloons and they tied them to your car and they're not supposed to bring that stuff to campus. And, you know, I went out there to get them. I said, now, I said, really, I'm supposed to just get rid of them. I said, but I hated for you not to get them. So I took them out to the guard shack and then the guard, you know, let them float off into outer space. And, uh, you know, I said, I'm sorry. You know, she's like, oh, it's okay. She was, she's like, she was really nice. She's like, oh, Mr. Nichols, don't worry about that. It's okay. I mean, they're just balloons. Um, you know, I'm sorry that, you know, I'm sorry. My mom did that, I'm sure. She probably just didn't know that she wasn't supposed to bring them on campus. So don't worry about it. You know, it's okay. It's not going to hurt my feelings, you know. And I told her, I said, I'll pay you for it. I felt so bad. No, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. She goes, now my mom? She goes, are you going to tell my mom? I said, yeah, you know, and, and she was like, and she got this look on her face. And I was like, what? She said, my mom's going to go crazy. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Because she was so nice. She was such a nice kid. She goes, my mom's going to go crazy. She goes, my mom's crazy. You know, she just goes nutso over stuff like this. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to call her anyway. You know, she's like, okay. Call this lady up. And uh, I told her what happened, you know. I told her, you know, that it was against the policy. They weren't supposed to bring him on campus at all, you know. And the principal told me that, but I hated to, so I tried to fix a way for her to get him. And I, I tried to explain all of it, what I had done. And uh, she just went crazy. <laughs> she started, hey, you're a, you're a, worried so much y'all need to worry about all them kids down there you know smoking dope and stuff quit worrying about my oh, baby it's her birthday do you know that she almost died and she's like crying and bawling i mean immediately not not didn't work her way into it didn't you know think about it and get mad i mean from the very second she started talking she was screaming and you know my daughter almost died and we almost lost her. Do you uh, do you have children? Have you almost lost a child? She was, and I don't know whether she was, I can't remember now whether she was in an accident or whether she had um, had some kind of illness or something. But apparently the girl had, and it was true, you know, she, mom wasn't making it up. The girl had almost, you know, died by, you know, because of this. And, and the mom was just, you know, She's my baby. I mean, she's, you just don't know. If you had almost lost a child, you wouldn't understand. And and I, I don't understand you people. Y'all are just so hard. Y'all are so mean. Y'all are so, you know, and she was just going on and on. I said, I was trying to help her, you know, get on. Where I wasn't even supposed to do that. And she didn't, I already felt bad, you know, and then this on top of that. You know, and then the girl was so nice on top of that. It was like a perfect storm, you know. I called the girl down there again. I said, listen, I'm going I'm to give you this money. This is how much these balloons cost. You don't have to do that, Mr. Nichols. I don't want, I'm not going to take that. I said, listen, I told your mom I was going to give you this money. 
So take the money. I said, if you don't want it, give it to your mama, whatever, you know. And, <laughs> and, she, and she was like, was it bad? I'm like, oh yeah, it was bad. She was just, she's like, I know, she just gets so emotional. And she, she says, I don't know why she does that. I mean, I'm okay. That was forever ago. I mean, you know, it wasn't like that was yesterday. And and she just, it's like she just obsesses about it. I'm like, I don't, don't worry about it. I would have been better off, for me personally, would have been better off cutting those balloons immediately and just let them float in the air. And then not even tell the girl what happened or the parent or anything. I couldn't even tell the principal because he would have got mad at me for trying to save the balloons to give them to the girl. He would have been like, why'd you do that? You know, you're, all you're doing is going to mess it up for, you know. So it was one of those, it didn't matter which side I turned, I was going to get hammered. And I did. <laughs> and I never told the principal. I never told him that I did that. Um, because I didn't want him to get on to me. I told some of the other administrators, and they were real supportive. You know, they just laughed at me. 